Hey Ratbags, it's Jade, clearing up a little bit what happened tonight in my live stream where I basically teased and showed you guys that I had seen the actual trailer for the launch trailer at least for Grounded's 1.4 update and the PlayStation 5 and Switch launch. I ended up playing the audio inside the actual live stream, so you go and listen to that if you want, and showed a bunch of screenshots. So I'm going to talk about some of them screenshots now. I have seen the trailer. I'm going to explain exactly where you got the trailer from, because it has now been removed. Effectively, it was on PlayStation. Big shout out to Capital Schultz who gave me the heads up about this and said that he'd been sent a video showing it. And so I went and checked my PlayStation quickly and lo and behold, on the Grounded Steam pre-order page or the PlayStation pre-order page, it had a lot of screenshots and it did have a trailer. Now it showed one of the trailers we've seen before a good few months ago and I thought there might have been something new in here because I hadn't seen that there was the big two-handed fresh sword while fighting the Mantis, I think it is. But then if you pressed RB and clicked afterwards, it would show the second trailer that no one has spoken about or shown off. It has now been removed. You won't be able to check it out for yourself. So why didn't I just show the trailer? Why don't I just show the trailer now? Because I like Obsidian. I appreciate Grounded and everything they've done. I have shown off a bunch of leaks in the past from the game dev files and I've speculated a lot on stuff. I've been the first to show off the Mantis black and armor back in the day. The fact we were getting crossbows and shields as well as a lot of other stuff. But as you develop as a YouTuber, as you get to know people that make the games that you enjoy and you promote, you obviously build a little bit of a relationship with them. And I'm proud to say that I've been able to speak to some of the Grounded devs in interviews and I've spoken on regular times with their community management. And just like I didn't spoil everything that was in the dev world or show off the gameplay that was available at the time, that was a whole nother drama just before 1.0, I don't really want to show and spoil off their launch trailer and it is going to be the launch trailer so it will go live when the game I'm sure is ready to release if it goes any sooner you'll see a proper reaction from me but yeah this was all the stuff I was teasing discord about this image I thought was brand new but it turns out it had been posted on reddit like two months ago but I hadn't seen it I totally skipped that realized this was a thing you could see the actual mint two-handed claymore but people need to chill, like, oh, why didn't you show it off? Obviously, I'm teasing. Obviously, I want views on it, but I don't want to spoil it. So why not do a little bit of a tease for people that understand and like that kind of thing? In the grounded community, at least, there's a big contingent of people that appreciate some meme-worthy action and getting a little bit of info. So no, I'm not showing the trailer to anyone else. I'm not sending it to anyone else until, obviously, we get the launch date release or whenever it's going to go live. What I can talk about though today is pretty obvious since we knew it was happening anyway is the different armor sets that are coming with the Ant Queen and the new tees they've placed showing that the Ant Queen has been poisoned. And yes you're going to see some of the screenshots from the trailer just to keep you interested enough and hype building. That's what I want as well. I want Grounded to keep getting hype, get everyone excited and it's going to be great when it launches and you'll be able to see the full trailer then. Don't hate the game, hate the rat bag. Let's go. So some speculation straight away that the Franken line might be in a different position. I don't think so. I think that is exactly the same position it's always been. But some people in the stream were saying that maybe it's changed. This is another shot from the live stream where we get to see the obviously infected broodmother. I tried zooming in to see if there was anything really new with any of the characters here. There's nothing really on show, but it does look a bit more bigger than just the regular lightning damage we do with either our mutation or any weapons. So is this the infected broodmother with shock damage now? Holy crap. New gear, obviously this was another screenshot. Last new ways of seeing lots of the titles and stuff. And here's what I showed off a little bit as well. You can clearly see Max wearing some of the new Ant Queen armor. There's going to be three different types of Ant Queen armor. One for each one, the Red Ant, the Black Ant and the Fire Ant. I don't think that's too much of a stretch showing some of this stuff because it's been teased for ages. I showed you guys literally a year and a half, two years ago nearly now that some of this stuff was in the works. And we knew from their little dev stream at PAX East that each of the Ant Queens had different pheromones. So these pheromones would be used to craft something unique to each of them. So I think the Red Ant Armour will be Tier 2. I think the Black Ant Armour will be Tier 3. And I think the Fire Ant Armour is going to be Tier 4. Because obviously there has to be Tier 4 items. 
Now there are more tier 4 items coming and the trailer did show some of them off but I'm keeping that till the big day until the trailer releases. Here's the better and best shot I guess that we are indeed getting three new complete armor sets and you can see they're made out of different types of the pheromone obviously for the armor and leg pieces and I am going to show off the headpiece as well. Obviously get to see some new chandeliers too made out of what I'm not too sure it looks kind of like bones or are they silk chandeliers? Yeah, no clue. Get some more nice footage as well of the uh, termite organ in the background too. And obviously each one of these arm sets has definitely got distinct color jewels. Max is wearing the black set. I think Hoops is wearing the fire and Pete is wearing the regular red ant set. So what are they gonna offer? What are they gonna give us opportunities to have? In the dev files, we knew there was an ant scepter and that ant scepter was there to go ahead and summon ants to fight by your side. So that looks like that might still be the case that you'll just be able to summon a regular ant, then maybe a black ant, then a fire ant. But this is all conjecture. It may be something completely different, but that's what I'm surmising. But what would the armor sets do? Are they gonna boost that ability? Are they gonna be able to summon more than one? Could it be something very different? Would they give us protection and make ants not hurt us anymore if we wear them sets, just like the regular normal ant armor does, but this time black armor, black ant armor and the fire ant armor will do the same. I don't know, it seems a bit of a stretch that one. So Obsidian did show off their own tease tonight, showing what happens when you poison one of the ant queens. Yep, they're gonna be brown bread and then I'm guessing we'll be able to get resources from them. But it does mean that maybe the ant hill will be forever changed. Will there no longer be any black ants at all? Will there be maybe infected ants? That's something I'm looking forward to finding out with the 1.4 update. Got one more tease to do with the ant armor set at the very end. But I was, oh, I've got to say, big shout out to Obsidian. Because they used my only down map. It's the fourth most downloaded map of all time in Grounded Playgrounds. And it's in the actual trailer as well. This is another shot highlighting that Playgrounds obviously is a big part of the game. So yeah, I'm like, oh my god, my map is in a trailer. Amazing. And yes, that is obviously Willow jumping with Max there down my only down parkour map. Go and try it now. You'll find the link to it and the code in the comment section. I am in the process of getting a revamped updated version ready for the full launch and that will be going live. You might see me streaming this and I am doing countdown every single day. We're going to be counting down now, talking to other creators, me getting ready with my single player world and basically just getting hype built up for the last ever update for Grounded. I'm going to be having a 24 hour countdown before the actual game goes live for everyone as well. Showing all my older videos if you just want to hang out with people, talk about Grounded, waiting for the drop if you're a PlayStation fan or just eager to see what 1.4 is going to have with all the new Game Plus. And here's the final tease showing off the actual helmet itself. Now this again isn't that new because this is the stuff that got leaked ages ago that was in the game files that I found and showed everyone first a good, good like nearly two years ago I swear. I showed again the whole stream, you can go and check it out as I showed some of this stuff off. This was towards the end, but we've got the yellow ones here with Max running off. It's kind of cool, it's got like an almost ninja vibe or Cossack vibe maybe. I know they are two really different things, but yeah. But that was the original concept that was in the game files, looking almost exactly the same. So that's why I'm showing some of this stuff. I feel like this stuff has been in the kind of public domain one way or another for a long time. So it's not the end of the world that I tease and show stuff. But I promise you, there's so much more to come. There's some really cool, cool items that you're going to be able to get your hands on. And I just can't wait for PlayStation and Switch fans to really enjoy one of the best survival games going. So I'll be all over it, like I said, on launch day, multiple, multiple videos and streams. Come and check me out then. Any more teases officially from Obsidian, I'll be there. And like I said, if the trailer does drop, you'll see a reaction video and analysis from me. The minute that goes live, I'll put my video live too. You may hate that, you may, but end of the day, it's my content I've managed to find. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it completely. I do want to respect a little bit what Obsidian have done, but I also do want to get some views and hype stuff up as well. So, so sue me. Until next time, Rat Bags, I'll catch you later.